Hi, this is Jade Xu from the University of Memphis. In this video, I'm going to show you how to run analysis of covariance in SPSS using this uh, sample data set. I have 24 participants in this study. They were randomly assigned into three groups, and each group were put onto a different diet. So there are three diets, one for microbiotic, two for low fiber, and three for high fiber. Uh, the purpose of the research is to find out whether there is a difference in their rate of weight gain uh, after three months of uh, being on the diet and with the initial weight as the covariate. So the rate of weight gain is the dependent variable. The diet group is the independent variable. And the initial weight is a covariate. So if we want to run a ANCOVA, the first thing we want to make sure is that we meet the two assumptions for choosing this particular covariate. The first thing we need to verify is that there is a linear relationship between the covariate and the dependent variable. For verify that particular assumption, it's um, pretty simple. We go to graphs. We want to check out a scatter plot um, just to see if there's a linear relationship. So we put the dependent variable on the y-axis and the covariate on the x-axis and the scatter plot shows that they have a pretty clear linear relationship okay so at this point we verify the first assumption linear in addition to linearity the second assumption we need to check out is whether we meet the assumption of homogeneity regression it's also called parallelism Basically, it says the relationship between the dependent variable and the covariate should stay consistent, should not vary for different groups defined by the independent variable. To check out the assumption of homogeneity regression, we need to do this. We come here, analyze, general linear model, univariate. We put the dependent variable, independent variable, and the covariate to where they belong. And we go to this place at model, change from the default full factorial to custom. We want to customize this model so that in addition to the independent variable and the covariate, we also have their interaction. So you hold down to the con uh, shift key, you highlight both variables and bring them to the right, shows like the interaction between diet and weight. Take a look at the output. The only thing we're interested in when we run in this analysis is whether there is a significant interaction between your independent variable and the covariate. If indeed we meet the assumption of homogeneity regression, there should not be a significant interaction between the two variables. In our case, we have a P that's 0.365, which is greater than R equals 0.05. We fail to reject the null hypothesis. That means we meet the assumption of homogeneity re regression. And this is good news for us. Verification of linearity and homogeneity regression indicate that we have a uh, good covariate to use in this analysis. So now we are ready to run the analysis of covariance, to run ANCOVA. 
we actually go, we're going to the same place we just went, general linear model, univariate, and the variables are still in where they should be, and we now change the model back to full factorial, okay, and we want to ask for descriptive statistics, homogeneity test, uh, estimate of effect size. And in addition to that, we want to make a request. So we have a display the estimate mean for the three groups defined by the three diet regimens. And here we can see the output. Um, we have a balanced design eight participants in each of the diet groups and here is the descriptive information the mean and the standard deviation of the rate of weight gain for each of the groups and for the whole sample 